Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Don and you're watching Don's DIYs, where it's always better when you do it yourself. Today we're working on the Jeep. Uh, it's been a big theme lately. Just been getting some stuff in. Um, sit you guys down. Uh, adding remote start to the Jeep today. We have a product made by uh, MPC, it's my push cart. Got it off of Amazon. Um, everything I've seen, this is what you need for your Jeep Wrangler to remote start your Jeep Wrangler. Um, what I've done is I've already went through, this is called the T-Harness. Uh, old plug, new plug. So your old plug goes in here. Starts every time I crank up a video camera and get it going. Okay, so again, this is the old plug goes in here, and this is a new plug that plugs into the uh, new or the old module. Uh, this is your new module that's going to start your vehicle. So um, we're going to get started. This is they say a 10-minute install. We're going to see how long it takes. Um, the tools you're going to need, Torx 20, um, my suggestion is a wrench uh, screwdriver type like this because it is, uh, there is a deep hole you got to go in to get it out. Um, a 10 millimeter, I got it on the front of my little impact that's going to take off the two bolts you got to take off. Nothing big. And a zip tie. And so and something to cut the zip tie with. Now this product comes with more than what I'm wanting to need. Uh, it has a valet switch, which you can turn the remote start off with a valet switch. Uh, still don't understand that. It does have a wire, which I've already done. It says, cut this wire only if installing in a Wrangler. Okay, so we are. So we cut it. And we put two little pieces of black tape on it. So it's uh, covered up in case there's any power that goes through it. There's four plugs that you need. And those are the four plugs right there. You've got a 20 pin white plug, a four pin black plug, a two pin, actually it's a five pin, but there's only two wires to it, white, and then another six pin red that only has two wires to it. So those are the only ones you're going to use in this process. So uh, we're gonna get inside and get set up and we're gonna actually gonna start the stopwatch and see how long it actually takes from start to finish to uh, real world install this. We're gonna try to do this with no cuts in the video other than when I'm done here and I'm setting up inside the Jeep. Uh, I do have a time lapse running right now, so the only doctor I'll do is the beginning of it. It'll show me coming into the vehicle, and then when it, everything's done, it'll, there's a time lapse going for all that. So you'll see that there's no break in the video. All right, let's get started with this thing. Okay, we are ready to get started. So, three screws you got to take out in this uh, steering column. You have to get to uh, the module behind the uh, ignition here. There's one up here beside your uh, tilt steering. One, and there's one here beside the ignition. You can see that uh, you're going to need a long-handled I, or not a long handle, but a long reach T20. Okay, you take those two out. Oh, well, it dropped down there somewhere. We'll have to find it. Okay, and then the last one is this small one. This is a more of a machine screw, so it goes into metal. Um, 
let's say one and three here are the same. So if we went one, two, three, one and three is the same, two is different. You will not get them mixed up. Uh, you gotta get rid of this piece of plastic. It's just a tug and that plastic is out of the way. Nothing big. Here are the two 10 millimeters you need to get rid of. Those are gone. You lift up on the plate just a hair, it comes right out. What, you, what you're gonna do is there's a nice wiring harness back here to zip tie everything to. So, uh, we need to get this plastic apart. Plastic comes right out. I think the 2017 has a ring around this that tucks up underneath the uh, steering wheel. If it does, just get you some plastic pry tools put in there and slide it around and come right out. My 2016 doesn't have it. They thought that it might, but it doesn't. Okay, so we've gotten this far. Now, this is the module you need to unplug. All right, there's a wiring harness you can pull. This is part of that wiring harness that we we're looking at. So we pull that back then we can get the wiring harness out for that for that module be careful the module will break easy from what i'm told then on the back side of it is a pin that you got to push they say this is the hardest part of all of it and once you pull them wires out it seems like it's pretty easy you can see the clip on the end. I'll show you the clip on the wiring harness. This is your T harness. This is the piece you're gonna put back in. You can see there is a little push button clip on the end of that. Okay, first we're gonna plug this back in. Snaps back in. Then you go to this one. That's plugged in. Now we got your module. All right. On the front side of this thing, there is a, a programming button. It's right here. Okay. You push that programming button and hold it. You plug in your black first and it's going to start lighting up. See all the different colors? Then you're going to wait till it's solid blue. You're going to let it cycle. Boom, and let go of it. That is solid blue. Now you can plug up the rest. We can go with your 20 pin, uh, your red pin. This is just the order that I saw on a video, so this is the reason why I'm going in it. And then the white one. We're plugged in. Now, what you wanna do is take your ignition key. You wanna put it in, two clicks. Do not crank it. Two clicks. Flashes. Okay. Now we're going to turn it off and we're going to hit the unlock button or the lock button. I'm sorry. Now we're programmed. Now we're going to hit the lock button three times to see if it'll crank. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna hit the lock button again three times. One, two, three, and it shuts off. 
you have just installed your remote start for your 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie up these wires. We're gonna tuck these wires back in where they need to go, okay? All right, so we got a spot back here, like I said, that we can wrap our wires up. All right, I'm gonna wrap this around the, mod around the wires for the module. Actually, I wanna put this back in here first, I think. zip tie everything gonna do that now we're gonna take our little plate put our plate back on Drop it down, get this on. Over the ignition. All right, we're back in place. So we're gonna put in this machine screw. That's gonna hold our plastic back in place. All right, then we're gonna go with a long screw. Back up over here by the uh, tilt steering. snugged in place now if you remember I dropped that screw so now we're gonna look for it okay I don't see it anywhere. So, we're not gonna count that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be laying in here somewhere. I'll have to figure out, I'll have to find it. But other than dropping the screw, which I'm gonna, have to find lock the steering wheel back got a little tabs at the bottom of that pulls in boom that's it you have a remote start Forgot to start the stopwatch, so I don't know exactly how long it took. Uh, I'm gonna review the video and, and figure that time out and probably try to put it in a video right about here. From turning the first screw to stopping the, stopping the last screw. Uh, we're not gonna count the one I dropped. I did find it, I did put it in, so. Um, but it, it seems real simple and easy. As you see, uh, there's a bunch of videos out there on it. I'm hoping that you choose to use mine. It was quick and easy for a remote start for your Jeep Wrangler. My, again, mine's a 2016. This is made for seven to 
7 to 17, I think is what the year span is on that that this particular one will work on. Uh, look it up, my push cart, and uh, find the one for your Jeep. This one here is, is an, a range of different uh, models. So you may have a model that doesn't have remote start that this particular one will work on. So it'd be just that easy. Again, it'd be different taking apart the dash and yada, yada, yada. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. As always, be safe in your shops. Be safe when you're driving out there on the road. And when you're on the trail, stay on the trail. Peace out.